What's going on, TS? I want you guys to look at some real live street theater. Some real live street theater taking place outside of my window. It's 12.30 a.m. Just got finished working all day. Um, window was covered. Didn't even know somebody was out here. I just felt a weird presence, a weird energy. And I look out the window. And here we go. We got a dog laying here on the ground next to a guy juggling fire. It's 12.30 at night, Wednesday night, 12.26 to be exact. So I just went ahead and just started talking before you guys even got in here. Look at this, guys. So I'm going to put this live up. It's kind of just abrupt, I decided, because I don't even, I, try, I recorded him, but I'm running out of memory on my phone, so... I decided to go live and then what I'll do is I'll just post this as a as a live just to show you guys what my life is like. Now, let me tell you guys something interesting about this. Before he showed up, first of all, <clears throat> let me give you guys a quick rundown. No one's in here yet, but you guys can catch it on the hey, someone's in here. Hey, what's going on? But um what I was saying is uh when I first pulled up here, all right, this exact spot, I've been here for about almost an hour. I almost got into an altercation. There was a dude just randomly parked here. This is somewhere where I like to come park after work and just kind of chill out sometimes, right? So they know that I would come here. So they had somebody literally in my exact spot. So I came and parked over here anyway. <clears throat> he got a little like aggressive, but you know, whatever. Uh, Looks like he's slowing down now. Maybe he got a notification in his earpiece that um, I'm live. So they decided to tell him to chill out. <laughs> I'm glad I caught him, though. Uh, but what I was saying is uh, when I first got here, almost got to an altercation, right? And it, it, whatever. It was this guy in his parking lot doing whatever. He drove off. It's like regular Atlanta stuff, right? You could just get into an altercation with a black dude at any time, anywhere, over anything. It's just, it's just crazy like that. But anyway, um, then after that guy pulled away, literally, I want to say two, three, three minutes later, another car pulled up. It was a Chevy Impala. They backed in uh, really fast and kind of slammed against the curve right here. And this is that spot where I'm pointing, guys. Um, they pulled in with and ran into the curve. Back then, it was all tinted out Impala. And this female jumped out the passenger side and she had on, uh, I mean, she was kind of, I mean, she's like kind of like SpongeBob, kind of like bad body, kind of like a big girl, not, not, not to disparage anybody, but just kind of like a bigger girl, like kind of like a, a big girl. She jumped and got into the back seat. I didn't see anybody getting on the other side. So she got out, she got back there. So what I assumed is they were pulling up about to have sex, but they didn't have sex, I don't think. So what they did was she got in the back, she was back there for like five minutes, if that, and then jumped back out, buckling her pants up and jumped back in the passenger seat and they drove off. So what I'm assuming is they just got drunk at one of the little bars around here and they just pulled over here real quick to uh, use the bathroom. But hey guys, I see I see we got two people in here. Hey, listen, um, welcome to the live. If you can see right here, I'm pointing the camera at somebody. They stopped uh doing what they were doing. The guy here was uh he was kind of he was doing a fire juggling show, street theater. Um I have when I run this live back, you guys can watch it. And I actually was able to get a video of it real quick, but I ran out of memory, so that's why I decided to go live because I want you guys to see this dude. It's 12 30 at night. I'm um, on the East Coast. I'm in the Atlanta area. And, you know, I wasn't even paying attention. And I just looked. I felt like the energy around me. And I looked out my window because usually it's covered up. Let me show you guys. See, I got this side covered up. You can't see out my window. So I, pull, I pulled the cover down and I looked and I saw a guy sitting here juggling a fire. Now, as soon as I went live, before you guys came in here, he was going hard. But I guess he got a notification in his earpiece or whatever that I'm recording live. So he decided to stop all of a sudden, but he was juggling fire. And if he, oh, it looked like he might start again. I don't know. 
You guys keep watching. Welcome to the live, guys. I'm trying to let you guys see some street theater. This guy right here disappeared next to me, juggling fire. He might be getting ready to get back to it, guys. There was somebody just else just came in here. They left. They're going to miss the show. Yeah, he's getting started again, guys. So this is some street theater for me at 1230 at night. This guy finished working all day, sitting in my vehicle. Here you go. Here we go. And this is the third person since I've been here for an hour that came over here and did some kind of show. A couple pulled up, did their little thing real quick in the back seat of a car right here. And they drove off. Yeah, guys, look at this. People coming in here. See, people are coming in. I'm, I'm letting you guys see what street theater looks like for a targeted individual. It's 1230 at night over here in the East Coast in Atlanta. Uh, pull, I pulled my car over here just to relax after working all day. And all of a sudden, this dude disappears. Him and his dog. The dog is just chilling like he just sees this all the time. And, you know, he's just practicing his routine right next to me in the parking lot, guys. He's putting on a live show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to run this live a little while, let you guys see a show. We can chop it up. If y'all have any questions, anything you guys want to talk about, um, let's do it. Just sitting in my vehicle right now. Um, this guy finished working. Just wanted to relax. Just sitting in the car. All right. So. And then the thing about it is I'm, I'm in the car trying to be low key, trying to chill out. Um, this brings attention over here. You know what I mean? Like I said, this is the third person that came over here. Well, the other person was already here in anticipation that I would be here. But, um. That guy honked the horn all out. We almost got into an altercation for no reason. It's Atlanta, guys. You can always just random altercations with black dudes all the time. It's outrageous. I never almost had altercations my whole adult life until I came to Atlanta for the past year and a half. Anyway, for those of you who are just coming in the room, um, they call this an investigation. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, that's how you know this gang stuff and we're not under investigation. They, all the stuff that they, these tools they use to track us and send these people around us to do these things, they could be, they could do this stuff secretly. Like they could be watching you in the same way. If they do stuff like this, uh-oh, someone else is walking up with them now. You guys are getting to see what my street theater life is like, huh? Tragic magic, I see you. So it's a dog, a fire juggler, and a female who looks like she has on let's see i don't know yeah guys okay it's more people coming in let me explain to you guys what you're seeing i pulled over here it's, it's almost like 12 45 at night i'm assuming now i pulled over here after working all day i'm in the parking lot and um this person just appeared next to me this is the third person to appear over here and just started juggling fire it is kind of cool, but it's bringing attention over here that I don't want. I'm trying to be low key. If you know anything about, uh, <laughs> yeah, entertainment for TIs. But if you know anything, you know about the van life or whatever the case may be, you uh, you're trying to be low key. Like if you look in here, you can't, it's darked out. You can't see anything. You won't even know I was here from the outside of my van. I got everything a certain way. Um, Yeah. But this is this he's he's because he got tired, guys. <laughs> but anybody, I see some people in here, man. Y'all say what's up. Let's we can chop it up a little bit. I'm just relaxing. This guy finished working all day. I'm just sitting here chilling. Um, we got a fire. Uh, we got a fire. A guy who was juggling fire for whoever just came in and you missed it. It'll you'll be able to see it on the playback. Let me close my back windows because you can probably hear me talking and he's probably not going to be authentic. He can't see me. Oh, that dog heard my car. Yeah, they heard my shit. Damn, now he probably might not be his authentic self, but I'm pretty sure they knew I was here to begin with because that's the point of gang stalking. But, um, yeah, I'm just chilling out here in the car, guys. You know, just, uh, this, this guy just showed up. They do things sometimes to encourage or discourage your behavior. Yeah, I know, but um, that's not their uh, role. 
it it would be it would be much better if they would just uh go focus on themselves and go figure out ways to improve the environment or you know what i mean go go figure out ways to uh increase you know just more positivity in, in a world well i don't need someone around to discourage or encourage any behavior i'm almost 40 years old you know, it's so strange that they decided to do this so later in my life, in my adult life. You know, I can see they did this in my 20s, teens. They're coming around messing with a grown-ass man who's already into who he's going to be. I'm already set into my ways. And you come around, think you're going to discourage or encourage, you know, go find some children to play with. That's pretty much, you know. The cops need to stop crime, not patrol random people. It seems like it's easier for them to do that. It seems like it's easier for them to uh, mess with us instead of going out here doing work, you know, fighting real crime. Think about any job. You know what I mean? People at, at jobs like to uh, they like to uh, find the easiest work to do make it easy on themselves so it seems like that's what they do they instead of actually using all those resources to fight crime you know they're out here doing this yeah proactive policing saves them money right they got the citizens out here i mean they literally watch us 24 7 you know they just they're around they have people just literally all around the world all around society to keep a set of eyes on us at all times. You know what I mean? It's like it's such a waste of money because they, they're not reporting anything, any crimes. It's just weird because it's like uh, you can't even jump out of your car real quick and go take a piss if you need to because, you know, there's going to be a set of eyes that's going to be reporting back to headquarters. Hey, he just jumped out and took a piss in the alley. You know, you know what I mean? They use these human resources on stopping human trafficking they would actually make a difference but instead they like to mess with grown folks yeah that's a that's a day exactly uh oh let's see this guy's getting up again guys he looks like he may be he's gonna get started again he's getting started again oh here we go yeah jay-z you're right and I think they do that because it's just an easy way out. Instead of them actually doing real work, they got all these citizens out here following us around, you know, while they just sit back and play on the phones, you know? They sit back and they use Stingray devices and hack our phones and, you know, all, that, all of this kind of stuff or whatever, but they're not doing work. <laughs> you, see, you see this guy, right? <laughs> That's right. I tell y'all, man. If I had more memory in my phone, it's, it's stuff at times like this. And I, when I always had no space in my phone, but at least you guys are getting to see it live, and I can still run this back. Um, I'll leave it up as a live. But um, what time is? It? It's almost kind of late. A lot of people aren't um, jumping in tonight. I'm gonna try to. We've been going for about 13 minutes. I'm gonna try to make it about 20 minutes here. See if anyone else comes in. But if not, we could chop it up, guys. You know, any question, anything you want to talk about, any information. You know, I figure I'd get to let you guys see the show. <laughs> oh, man. I was just trying to be low key over here in the cut. And there's been so much activity, and I've been here about an hour. Yep. What you guys think about that bridge? Uh, collapse in baltimore i was in baltimore oh, I, I, I put a video up a few days before the crash happened in baltimore on a bridge and then a few days later a bridge collapsed at 1 27 the bridge hit 1 27 a.m uh, two nights ago and i always talk about the number 27 all the time and the bridge hit the bridge is hit at 1 27 it was right there in front of it smashing into the bridge right after i put a video up walking on a bridge in baltimore so hey i'm not gonna say you know what i really think but you get it leave the world behind bridges and solar eclipse west coast yeah you're right i need to see that movie because i keep hearing all these different things keep happening um that were in that movie netflix so i'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out but uh let me turn this off i'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out but um Every time I get Netflix, there's never anything good. And then when I, I go ahead and let it cancel, all of a sudden something new comes out that everybody wants to see. 
anyway, for those of you who are just coming in here, um, I'm just showing you guys from street theater. I'm sitting in my vehicle. It's like, you guys know what time it is. I'm on the East coast. So it was already like 1245 at night. Um, this person just appeared and, uh, started giving me a fire juggling show. His dog is just sitting right there watching him. The dog seems very bored. Like he, uh, sees him do this all the time. <laughs> well, you know, this is a this is a, a good this is a dog walker with a talent. Usually the dog walkers will just come out and walk their dog and like a zombie. I mean this guy came out and started juggling fire. So let's see. They're saying possible cyber attack on the ship. Hey, you know that and that ship, if you guys look into it, the CEO of that company that crashed, she just died. She backed her Tesla into um, into the lake outside of her property the ceo th look it up just a few weeks ago the ceo of that shipping company that ran into that bridge in baltimore she just backed her tesla into her a lake on her property and died you know what i mean and also her her sister is married to mitch mcconnell the longtime republican uh congressman who just decided that he was going to step down and not run again. All of this just happened all within the past two weeks or so. So dog walker, plausible deniability. Yeah, this dog walker right here, if you just got in here, this guy was out here juggling uh, fire. You guys missed it. So he, he, he takes a break. He'll get up and he'll juggle for a few minutes and then he'll just sit down and take a break. But he seems to be training for some kind of circus or something. I wish he would keep going. The ending to the ITWB is the new movie Civil War. What's that? What are you saying? It says the ending. Oh, oh okay. The ending to Leave the World Behind is the new movie Civil War. I'm going to go ahead and watch that movie. Um, I'm going to download Netflix again. Because every time I get Netflix, is nothing. I can find nothing to watch. And as soon as I um, delete Netflix and, and don't renew it, something big like this, like that movie comes out and everybody keeps talking about it. So um, I'm going to give it a try. I thought that it might have been BS because all the influencers on YouTube were talking about it. And I think that now, I don't know if I didn't, I didn't think it was really good. I thought it was just that these movie companies are paying these influencers to talk about a movie and talk it up as if it's something to see. And we'll go see it based on that. And they act like it's not a commercial. But um, the fact that people are still talking about it months later, I'm going to check it out. What's going on? To those of you who are coming in, I see we got a few people, people coming in and out. The reason why I'm, I'm, I got this dog walker um, on live right now because he's juggling fire, guys. He'll get back up in a minute or two. He, he, he juggles fire and then he sits down for a minute, takes a break, and then he'll get up and juggle more. And I'm behind tenant windows, so he can't see me. Um, and I close my back window so he can't hear me. So, you know, what you're saying is just his natural whatever. You know, let's see. West Coast 1776 says, yes, the ending is the new movie. When you say the new movie, Civil War, what do you mean, new movie, Civil War? New movie, Civil War. It, it seems like what you're saying is that they basically, are, at the end of the movie, they're depicting what the new Civil War is going to be. I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, I'm going to check it out because all of these things that are happening, um, all of these things happening like that definitely make you you want to check it out. Hopefully, all right, now we get a few more people in here. Hopefully, this guy gets up and juggles more fire, entertains you guys. Civil War is a new movie trailer on YouTube. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Civil War is a new movie on trailer on YouTube. Okay. All right, I'm going to look into that because, you know, it's interesting, though, the Civil War. I'm I'm on a Civil War battleground right now. Um, I, I took a picture. I'm going to show you. I'm going to post that on one of my posts coming up. But I'm on a Civil War battleground here in Cobb County. Um, the place that I'm in right now, they actually fought battles right here on the land that I'm on right now. These broken cult members order followers. The, those broken cult members order followers. F gang stalkers. I know that's right, man, for sure. 
I mean, you got to I mean, you guys have no idea of how many people are truly involved. I really want to start doing more lives and just really show you guys this the extent of what they go through the gang stuff and the amount. I would need a pair of spy glasses or something like that in order to really show you guys. Maybe I need to request make a go get a get, help me get a pair of spy glasses so I can really show you guys like how many people are truly involved in this. Um, their participating in this is more than what most of you guys can believe because I haven't seen anybody else talk about gang stalking the way that I do as far as I understand the time coordinations that they use. There's some TIs out here that still are wondering if they're being gang stalking. Oh, maybe that's gang stalking. Maybe it's not gang stalking. For me, I don't have that problem because they make sure I know every instance that is that's gang stalking. And there aren't many instances in my life that take place or any interactions that aren't intertwined with gang stalking. They don't make, they don't, it's not designed to be a secret. It's not designed to have you wondering and guessing. It's a mind fuck. They want you to know that they're doing it to you. They're not going to be around you and having you guessing whether or not you're being gang stalked. They want you to know that they're running uh, operation. You, you get what I'm saying? It's not it, it, these TIs who just seem like they just don't know. Oh, I don't know if that's gang stalking or not, or maybe that's gang stalking. You have to learn the patterns. Pay attention. Now, I'm not against God, or spirit, but some of y'all are so spiritual and you're so into that part of it where you sometimes, you know, do away with your common sense. You also have to incorporate real world you know, stuff in a material world. The spiritual stuff is fine. It sounds good on YouTube. It sounds like you're just so, you know, ascended. But you really, 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 really need to pay attention to what's going on. Because a lot of that stuff you guys are talking about are also just theories. You don't know if it, that stuff is true. You're just going off of what you were taught, what you believe, what you were told. You don't know. And you're just basing a situation. Is not this, this situation is not safe. They're not playing with us. Yeah, Zerzette's song, exactly. They're not playing with us, guys. This is not some spiritual game. They're trying to harm us. They're trying to get rid of a certain portion of the population using this program. These people will smile and giggle and while they're working, doing their part in the assembly line of your demise. That's why they're not angry and pissed off. They just got one part. Like when you people who used to work in the Ford, um, in the automotive industry... I don't trust nobody. You can't trust anybody. But people who work in the automotive industry, they don't just build a car by themselves. They, they all do one part, right? One part of it. If they had to build a whole car by themselves every day, they'll be tired, pissed off, and they'd be feeling the way, you know, you would feel if you had to build a car every day. They just do one little part. That's what all of these perps out here do. They just do one little part. They don't, they don't, they're, they're not, uh, they're not running around driving themselves crazy gang stalking people everybody one person all day long chasing you around they just do one little job and they move on to the next thing it's very low stress job for them but for us it's happening to us 24 7 around the clock all day so it stresses us out so we got to remember when we're encountering these people they're running cold they're cool they're getting paid they're just doing a job it's not personal for them but for us, it's personal because it's our lives. They're invading our privacy. They're they're mobbing us. They're they're stealing from us. They're trying to you know cause a level of stress that could kill us, guys. The cortisol and the chemicals caused by all of the stress that comes from this program can kill you. This is the same thing as somebody rolling up on you with a gun and emptying the clip on you. Except for this is a slow kill, but at the end of the day, it's a kill. Some people like to romanticize it and put all this extra spirituality. It's fine. I'm not against that if it helps you. But what I'm saying is sometimes you are over romanticizing this. This is a program that is designed to bring about your demise. They're not trying to teach us anything. If, they, if that was a the case, they wouldn't try to murder me on the highway on a consistent basis. You get what I'm saying? Um, they wouldn't and try to induce a level of stress that is unnatural for any living being you, you can't live with this kind of stress it's completely unnatural and they're able to do it in a way using this technology that humans aren't naturally supposed to be able to do so 
let's 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 not try to take something from a Bible and a belief system that's so old and try to apply it to a world today with this extreme level of technology and these people with a certain mindset that has evolved and changed from what it was in the days of the Bible. People need to update and upgrade to what's going on now. I'm not saying spirituality doesn't have its place in this, but if you get too lost in that, you're going to be like some of these other TIs who just happen to come up missing, uh, happen to just drop dead, different things of that nature, because you're not taking the physical world seriously enough. Let me catch up on some of these cunts. Uh, it says, God strengthens me. Hey, I looked up my family name on True Finder and the government watch list notice popped up, but they still act like perps sometimes. Yeah, man. Um, if they are perps, they'll let you know. They don't have to act like perps or any of that. If they're a perp. They're going to make sure you, they, you know that they're a perp. I see it's a few more people in here. Hey, for those who are just coming in here, guys, um, I have the camera on this individual right here, this dog walker because he was juggling fire. But all of a sudden, now that I got him on live, he stopped. He seems like he has some kind of music box right there he's, that he has, and he's listening to music next to me outside smoking him on. But he was out here literally juggling fire. When I when I, when I I do the playback, you guys will see um, what I'm talking about. But hopefully he'll get up and do it again, but it looks like he's out of breath. He's smoking, and he's probably tired already, so. Anyway, let me catch up on these comments. It says, um, I'm just doing my job. I so trigger by these psychopathic excuse of self hating cult members. Yeah, I, I, we don't, I don't understand them. I, I really don't understand them. Um, I was never uh, approached to be in a cult. Okay, look, now here's another dog. See, this is, now this chick is with him right here. And she's bringing a dog as well. There you go. I'm like, I'm, I would crack the window. Damn, she she's aggressive with her dog. She she yelled at him. Like, damn, damn that dog right there. They ready to fight. Let me, let me, let me give y'all a little. Let me put the window down a little bit. I'm not gonna talk as much for a second because I want to get you, let y'all hear what's going on out here a little bit. All right, guys. So I think he might be getting ready to juggle again now that the chick is out here. So these are my dog walker stalkers. And when you see her walk out, guys, I'm on the East Coast in Atlanta. It was 1252. 1252. You get 27 out of that. Just move that one out the way. And then you got 27. 1252. She just she appeared. That's a dog walker stalker right there. Okay. I'm gonna put my window up because I think they can hear me. Look like those dogs are getting a little aggressive with each other. I'm gonna put the window up. Uh, they heard my window move just now, so they alerted. They, they well, they already knew I was here anyway because they wouldn't have even been here in the first place. Because I'm a TI, and they were instructed to come here, but they just couldn't see me because my stuff is all tinted out. But I just made a little noise in my window, and they both looked over here. So I just hate to do that because I want them to be natural with what they're doing. What's going on? I see more people coming in the room. Hey, guys, this dude right here, he disappeared outside of my window about 20 minutes ago, juggling fire. If you watch this live on a playback, you'll see what I mean. Um, I pulled up to this uh, parking spot. I come here every now and then, maybe once every few months. I just got finished working all day, and I came over here just to relax. And I have all my windows covered up. If you look at this, this is how I keep. You can't see anything. But when I, I felt there was a presence out here, he's getting ready to get started again, guys. But I felt there was a presence out here and I looked and there was a dude out here juggling a fire with a, a big white dog sitting right there with him. So look, uh, it's not a German Shepherd, but uh, he's, he's doing some kind of performance. He has the music going. He looks like he's probably gonna juggle one more time to show his girlfriend. Here you go, guys. This is what street theater looks like when you're me. <laughs> I'm going to catch up on the comments in a minute, guys. I want y'all to see the fire juggling. Now, what other TI are you going to find online, guys, that has dog walkers that juggle fire? Y'all got to make sure y'all checking my page out on a regular basis, guys. I mean, come on. How many TIs are giving you guys live action dog walkers that juggle fire for their girlfriends, for private shows, for me and the dogs and his girlfriend? 
Mind you, it's 1 a.m. It's 12.56 p.m. I should roll my window down so y'all can hear the noise campaign at 12.57. I already hear it right there. At 12.57, that's going to be on this highway over here. It's Leslie. Your channel posted community post game. It's channel. It's the channel you posted on your community post. I don't know what you said, Leslie. Um, I don't understand what you were saying right there. I missed your message, T Rex, man. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you, show you guys the uh, dog walking stalker, fire jugglers at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Now, mind you, I, I pulled up over here because it's very low key and quiet and I was just trying to be chilled out. So let me tell you how the crazy thing is. I've been here now for about an hour, 20 minutes, maybe an hour and a half before the, right before this fire juggler showed up. There was a couple that pulled up in a uh, all in a, an Impala tenant out. They pulled up right here, jumped in the back seat for a few minutes, did whatever they wanted to do. And then they sped off and they ran into the curve. And then when I first pulled up here, there was a guy here that was aggressive that wanted to get in an argument because he felt like I pulled up too close to him. <laughs> so all of that happened with me being here in an hour and and maybe an hour and a half now, guys. That's the TI life. And that's after me working all day. And I don't even come here often. I've been here maybe, shit. It's probably maybe my third or fourth time parking over here at night from being around in this area for the past two years uh let's see i'll catch up on the comments leslie says it's the channel okay uh west coast you should drive away and come back in five minutes yeah i would if it was uh if i if i was to drive away they leave it happens all the time but i'm not even i'm not going anywhere i'm done for the day i've been riding around all day my damn car giving me problems i just got my car repaired and the problem that was there before I got it repaired, I still got to get that fixed. So, shit, my car going to chill. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I heard if you name, I, I, I heard if your name not on government watch list, you can sue. I'm going to look into that. Um, but they're so secretive about it, man. The thing about it is trying to sue and get that information like that. That that seems like it would be hard because they lie. I did four year request for NSA, CIA, FBI, the NSA, and this was last year, February of 2023. And the only people that got back to me was the NSA. They got back to me in like a month or so. But they said they can't basically tell me nothing. The CIA said nothing, the FBI said nothing. So it was like there's nothing official. This is uh, this is a um this is an unofficial thing they're doing to us. There's there's people stealing what I believe is the resources or, you know, tapping into the resources they use to surveil criminals and terrorists. And they just use it to hurt people and attack and uh, stalk and, you know, do vigilante, like vigilante style justice to people, basically. My man is on his knees juggling fire. You see what I'm saying, guys? I mean, what page do you find with dog walkers that juggle fire in the dark? Look at that. Yeah, so he's tired again. See, he, he gets up. He's like he's taking his shoes and socks off. He's really getting into it, guys. Maybe he knows he's live and he's get. This is his big chance. Yeah, he's uh, the dog is just chilling over there. Like he just like he's used to this. <laughs> then they will call. Then they will add your name. <laughs> <laughs> you say if you do that, they're going to add your name after that, right? <laughs> Shit, man, if your name ain't on there the way they treat us, well, now you don't want to get officially on there because then you can't board flights and all these different things. That dog right there looking right back here must be able to hear me. Um, that dog right there is looking right at me. Sorry, guys, let me focus. That dog right there, he was looking right at me. He could hear me. He, he has better ears than I. She could probably hear me, too. But they, she knows she's doing the job. It's 1 a.m. on the dot right now. East Coast time. Yeah, he's getting tired. That's probably why he's not working for the circus right now. He gets so tired. He can go for a few minutes, and then he's tired. At the circus, man, they, they go for hours, don't they? He goes for a little while and sits down and has a vape. I got to figure out how to do a stream yard 
um, tragic, but I, I think that I can, um, I think I can, uh, I know how to add people on to this. I think that's a button right here where I can just push it. I might be able to add somebody on. Let me see. I'm going to push that button. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. No, I just said start a poll. Uh, who the perps in, in here? <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I see we got more people in here. Hey, guys, y'all hit that like button for me. We got 12 people in here. Only two people have hit the like button so far. I mean, hey, guys, listen, I'm showing you dog walkers that are juggling fire. For those who just walked, who just came in here, um, this guy is a dog walker, and he's out here juggling fire. If you When you when you see this video, y'all got to watch the run back, the playback of this live. I'm going to leave it up, and you'll be able to see in the beginning him... Uh, Juggling fire. Y'all get them likes up. I see what you're saying, Tragic Magic. Are y'all perps in here? Yeah, I don't want to hit the like button for me. I hear people on their lives always say hit the like button, so obviously it must be something that helps your page, uh, you know, on the positive side. I want to grow this. I want to grow this channel because I want to get this message out. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. It's looking like they're finished, guys. So um, I'm going to chop it up with you guys for a little while if y'all want to talk for a little bit. But I really just wanted y'all to be able to see this fire juggler. But I got time. I'm just chilling out right now. Working all day. I don't have to work again until tomorrow night. So, you know. This is uh, what's, what's important is that you take care of yourself. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Definitely perps in here. I don't know, man. Respect your hum your tr respect for your Truman vid. You made they are absolute. You are absolutely correct. No doubt. You talking about the um where I was talking about the real Truman, the uh, President Truman, who basically started the CIA, and that's what that movie was really about. CIA spy technology. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I didn't. I, I never noticed anybody uh, point that out. You know, so I, I heard somewhere watching a documentary about Truman and the CIA, and I put it all together. Like that whole movie, the Truman Show, was about CIA spy technology, and the guy who started the CIA, his name was Truman. So boom, 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 there you go. And nobody ever put that together. So I'm glad that you peeped that. Thanks a lot. I try to bring you guys aspects of this this whole thing that haven't been hasn't been spoken about before you got you get what i'm saying i try to give you guys a different perspective because my perspective is real like there's nothing fake about me there's no no one gives me money to mislead to fake to lie i i, I don't know none of all of you guys who follow me or or you know communicate with me no one none of your handlers or anybody has ever contacted me and told me to do like little perp shit to you like for me all these YouTubers who I watch or of, of anything, whether it's gang stalking, travel, anything that I look at, whether it's Instagram, the people who monitor my phone, they contact all of these people and tell them to do these different, you know, do different things. And not even just the shit that I put on my own platform telling you that people can just copy and do. I'm not talking about that. They tell like the directed conversation, you know, whatever, like. With me, they'll have a key word that they'll be saying for maybe a week or two. So everybody that I encounter, including family, would say this particular specific word. And then once I start watching certain YouTubers, they'll make sure they incorporate the word or whatever the case may be. So they've been doing this with me for a while. Let me see. Let me catch up on these a little bit. Um, it says, help out my friend if you can. Thanks. Who's your friend, Leslie? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what you're, um, what you're referencing. Leave me a comment on on a video or something and give me an idea what you're talking about. I put a video up last night and there's a lot of comments that I haven't been able to uh, respond to yet. I've been working all day long. So once this live is over with, I'll probably um, get a moment to get on IG. My IG has like a thousand <laughs> DMs that I haven't responded to. I have a lot of uh, comments on my most recent video, so I want to I want to be able to speak to everybody. No one's getting ignored. It's just that I am being gang stalked. Remember that uh, I work and I and I'm trying to maintain all of the social media stuff as well. So and I still have to take care of myself and live and and survive 
and get some sleep in because it's very important to get sleep as a TI guys because if you're cranky and you have lack of sleep you can snap matter of fact I'm going to show you guys an experience that I had earlier today they kind of made me lose my cool a little bit but I, I did it within reason and while I got you guys here let me before I read these comments let me give you guys a quick let's tell you a quick story what happened earlier today I'm going to post the video I want to edit it up but I was in a um I was in a uh, restaurant earlier getting something to eat and they always play games with me this particular place like I'm standing there I, I didn't even go through the drive through I went inside and they all ignored me and act like I'm not there and helping everybody but me and then soon as I did get some help they finally sent somebody over somebody else walks in they help them right away I'm gonna show you guys the video and I kind of I got mad I got I'm not gonna say mad I was irritated you know I didn't lose my cool too much you'll see the video I called the manager over I made them give me a discount on my food otherwise I probably wouldn't even have took it I was so hungry I would have just walked out <laughs> but I just made him give me a discount and he did it so I felt a little bit better but one here's a hint for you guys when you when you're out here buying food or get doing things where you're paying for services and stuff like that pay cash if you can guys don't use your apple pay and your credit card and shit use cash cash as a ti just in case you need to get a refund because of the because of their behavior a lot of times they like to do things even though you're paying your money they love to show us as ti's that our money means nothing and they'll just treat us like shit regardless because the police told them it's cool to do and they'll blow our heads off if we if we complain about it that's the vibe they give them so what you can do is just stay professional pull your phone out when you can as well and make sure you pay cash when you're dealing with these people in these different uh like restaurants or different places that you're, you're spending your money where they, they have an opportunity to treat you away make sure you pay cash and you get your you just politely ask for a refund and walk away don't argue don't fuss because that's what they're trying to do i was almost on the verge of, of looking like that in a restaurant where i was kind of irritated and you know, I, I need to speak to the manager, but I kept it cool and I made sure they gave me a discount showing that they were wrong for what they did. I'm not just I wasn't being irrational. It was showing that they're wrong. The manager saw that they did wrong and he gave me a discount. So you got to keep your cool. But again, pay cash. You know what I'm saying? Pay cash when you're dealing with people out here as a TI so you can easily ask for your refund and walk away take your money back they are they, 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 they we don't deserve to be treated the way we do and we're spending our money and part and plan and participate in the economy just like everyone else but we get treated like our money is second class hey real real quick though guys look i got 13 people in here i got five likes if y'all can do me a favor and hit the like button for me because it helps with the algorithms and it lets people know that i'm live and i want to like i said i want to grow this channel let me catch up on some of these likes um Let's see. Help out my friend. Okay, so Sonny Crockett says, I just took a nice crap. Um, and for all gag stalkers, so they can yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh tragic, you said, uh, bro, this first happened to me twenty years ago. Damn, I cannot believe it's happened to people still. What do you mean happened to you twenty years ago? You're legit. I hear it in your voice. I'm oh, I'm as legit as it gets, man. No one's ever approached me tried to give me anything or offer me anything to gang stalk and the fact that they're attacking me they, it's not even an ultimatum they've never come to me and say either do this or we're gonna gang stalk you they just attack me they just they just one i'm riding down the street and i just started noticing a number 27 on every tag in front of me and then i started noticing my family and my in my own home my wife and stepson at night they would get up all night long whenever 27 was on the clock 127 227 327 they would just go back and forth and just get up and use the bathroom all night long all the neighbors would they, they moved in all these haitian immigrants around me it was a duplex one next to me and the two in front of me they moved all these people in around me and they all just started gang stalking. that's when i noticed it and the police started uh meeting me at every intersection on the road and this was like in 2019 when i became absolutely sure that it was going on you see what I'm saying? And I left my home in 2020 and I've been doing the van life, living out of vans and stuff and just move on a move ever since then. I just don't want to live in an apartment somewhere sitting stagnant. Like my car was broke down last week. It was broke down for two weeks, guys, like two weeks. And I was pretty much stuck in one place because when I got my car I go around everywhere, like, like right now, this different place every night. But they were hitting me with so much radiation 
that fluid was coming out of my ears. And this happened to me last year also. My car had broke down. I was stuck in a certain place for like two months, really. But when you're in one place like that, they can consistently radiate you, consistently hit you with do weapons. Like since I've my car has been back up and running now for a few days, I've been cool again. I, I can move around, do things normally. I don't have anything leaking out of my ears. I mentioned the tumor that I felt coming. That hasn't gotten any worse. You get what I'm saying? Like all of a sudden, but they were literally trying to kill me there. I'm sitting in my car like I am right now, but I was, you know, in the back chilling. It was late. They pulled a car up next to me out of all the places in the parking lot and had the car running for over an hour. So the exhaust fumes are going to my window. The car was broke down and it had no power. So I couldn't close the back windows all the way. And they knew that because they watched me all day and they just let the fumes blow into my car. And I was watching a documentary two nights ago about the Holocaust. And that's the way they killed some of the Jews. They used car uh, exhaust fumes to kill them. I'm going to post that in a clip or something soon in a video that I'm going to be doing. And you, you, everything that I say, I'm going to explain and show you guys. It's the real deal. All right, let me catch up on some of these comments. We got 17 people in the room. Y'all hit that like button. For those of you who are just getting in here, um, you guys missed it, the beginning, but you can catch it on the playback. There was a guy right here where I'm pointing my camera. He was sitting here juggling fire, a dog walker stalker. He had his dog tied up to this pole and he was sitting here juggling fire for quite some time so you guys will see it on the playback who missed it but right now we're just you know just chatting about gang stalking i got time to sit here and chill so you know um yeah guys uh let me catch up on some of these uh let me catch up on some of these comments uh let's see it says uh hey yeah this started in 2019 for me i was 20 years old and this shit Hey man, God struck this me. I'm sorry that this happened to you so young at 20 years old. Yeah, it started. I, I noticed mine in 2019. That's when it went overt. But to be honest with you, this kind of stuff for me started way back in like 2005. I hate to say that because I'm one of the people that believes gang stalking started after the Patriot Act in 2007. But the technology to track people and do those kind of things had been around. I come from Wash the Washington, D.C. area. My family, my whole family is government and they have access to stuff that everybody's family might not have. So my family has been doing these things, what I believe to me, for a very long time as a way to control me. Um, I come from that kind of area where you have a lot of military, a lot of government contractors, the majority of my family all are lifelong government employees. And I'm not talking about no low level shit. They, they really have been there like 30 years. You get what I'm saying? Down at Washington, D.C., the Pentagon, all of that kind of shit. The people that I went to high school and college and elementary school with, these people work in the Pentagon. They work, they work in the White House. They work in these kind of places. So let me give you an example, right? So I'm somebody that say I went to middle school or high school or college with somebody. I took their girlfriend or I beat them up, but we just didn't like each other. Maybe now they got it. Maybe they went on in life and they started working at the Pentagon because their mom worked there and they got them a job. So now they're working in the Pentagon, Department of Justice, the White House, whatever. And they got access. They could just put somebody's name in and have all that information do what they want to do to you. That's how easy it is. You get what I'm saying? That's how easy this kind of thing happens just like that. And, and now, and, and then you'll have a bunch of people on here telling you it's a spiritual attack when literally you just had an old nemesis, an old enemy who had access to that technology and they can use it to terrorize you. All right, let me read some more of these comments. But like I was saying, um, I'm sad. I'm sorry this happened to you at the age of 20. For, with me, they didn't start this overt stuff until now, like the last few years. I'm almost 40 now. I be always say, oh, I'm almost 40. But they started this stuff within the past few years. So I'm already a grown man. I'm already setting my ways. I know who I am. I'm confident. So all these little games and things they play with me, it doesn't have an effect. See, I, it's just annoying and irritating. A lot of it is immature. I can tell it's coming from young people or people that's intellectually stunted, things of that nature. So it's just, you know, it doesn't bother me on that level. It's just an irritation that they even have access to do this. You know what I mean? So I'm just blessed that it did happen to me while I'm already grown. If I was in my 20s, still trying to develop who I was in life and trying to get my, you know, figure the world out, this would be devastating. So I feel for y'all a lot more, you know, for sure. 
you know, I was able to enjoy my 20s at least and, and the most of my the first half of my 30s, you know, without knowing that I'm in some gang stalking program like this. Uh, let me see. OK, I will. I document on Twitter. Oh, yeah. OK. I remember you mentioning somebody mentioned about Twitter and TikTok. I'll be in contact, though, um, Leslie. I just have a lot of people that I need to communicate that I need to respond to between uh, IG and this YouTube. And that's just in my gang stalking stuff. I have other IG pages. I have another YouTube page that doesn't have anything to do with gang stalking that eventually I will probably share with you all. But I have a lot. And then I still got to work. I still got a regular life. So I try to keep up. So don't take it personal if it takes a little time for me to get back to you. Overcharging me at establishments and bodegas. Yeah, I don't get the overcharging thing. Actually, a guy tried to do it to, that to me uh, at Advanced Auto today. But it was just kind of obvious. I had to buy some fluid for my engine. Um, but I don't get that that often. Uh West Coast, please watch movie trailer on YouTube for a movie called Civil War. Please make a video on it. All right, West Coast, I'm gonna check it out. Civil War on on uh, on YouTube. You said it's on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. If you get a chance, send me a link if you can. Send a link. Drop the link on one of my older videos, and um, I definitely check it out when I get an opportunity for sure. God strengthens me. Says they did with my piece i ordered messed up my order I, I was told they'll contact me and they never did yeah man that's why you want to always try to pay cash if you can i tried to get pizza the other day they play those with me they just like to stall me out like and the, all the local little stuff that i go to in the neighborhood they just like to waste my time whether i'm in the drive through if i go inside they'll just waste my time they don't necessarily mess my orders up and when they do i straighten it out but they like to waste my time and for instance, let me give you a quick example. Like, um, there's a McDonald's I go to. I'm always waiting in line behind people for like a year. And they never make them go to the little, you know, the little lane they send you to to go wait for your food if it's not ready. They, they'll make me wait behind them while they're at the window. But as soon as I come up and my shit is not ready, I got to go wait in the side lane somewhere off to the side. And they want me to see all the other customers driving past me, getting their orders very fast. That's a, that's, that's a tactic to piss me off. So... All these little things are supposed to keep you pissed off all day. Y'all hit the like button. But all those little things are supposed to just keep you pissed off all day. Little stuff like that, you know. Just put me in a weight lane and let everybody else whiz by. See, if you don't understand that, say you are 20-something years old and you don't understand these things, you're going to be more susceptible to snapping out. Especially y'all young dudes. Y'all are really crazy. Y'all like to shoot. Y'all grew up on, like, Grand Theft Auto video games. It seems like y'all don't really have a grip of life for real <laughs> so these young guys that they're gang stalking and these girls look look at the news you see people getting shot in these fast food places all the time because they got these people in here gang stalking it's part of their job and then you got all these unhinged people out here who are getting irritated and stressed out all day and they start shooting i'm out here in atlanta everybody got guns it's always you know but uh let me see uh God strippers you. But yeah, man, good luck, God strippers you, man. Stay stay strong. Cause you say it started in 19 when you were 20, so that means you're around 24-ish now. Yeah, man. You're growing up in this. You're used to all this technology in the cyber world. This is your your world, your generation, man. It just sucked that y'all gotta deal with this being so young and not getting to really enjoy life. You know? Yeah, man. Uh my family tragic. They're, they're all completely gang stalked. They're, they're all military, ex-military. They're all government, um, fraternities, all of that kind of stuff. Everything you can imagine. The Black Boule, for those of you who know what I mean. Yeah, I come from Washington, D.C. My high school, let me give you guys an example. The high school that I went to, the guy, one of the guys who created Google. Think about that. We're on YouTube now, owned by Google. One of the guys who created Google went to my high school. I went to a place called Eleanor Roosevelt in Greenbelt, Maryland. Okay. He he worked with the CIA over at the University of Maryland to develop Google. Do you understand that? Right up the street from my high school, there's NASA. There's a NASA base right there. NASA, the stars and the shit. Right up the street from my high school. A little further down the road from there, the NSA, National Security administration the nsa that does all the spying the nsa that has perps inside this live right now the nsa that hacks my phone and watches my shit i drove 
past the NSA every single day. You know, when I back in my where I live, you know what I'm saying, where I come from. I was back up there in 2022. I was doing some DoorDash deliveries. The perps purposely sent me to this NSA. There's an exit when you ride up and down that highway right there. It's this thing called BWI. They have cones so you can't go into the NSA exit unless you got permission. I never went in there in my whole life. I always drive past it. But I'm doing a DoorDash delivery. I'm back home in 2020. So I drive in there. Man, them people almost killed me, man. They 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 had the guns out. They flipped my whole car, went through everything, checked everything, patted me down. They ran, they ran my phone, everything you can imagine. This is the NSA. Because a DoorDash delivery was designed, was sent to go there you know what i mean they did that on purpose they kept trying to do it and they, at that time i finally went in there and they made me pay for it and they did that to me two times they sent me to a, a military base out in that area so I, I just come from an area where you have all of that government military cia nsa all my friends their parents my parents family members they're all involved in that so i've been dealing with this stuff for a long time like I said, the guy who comp who created Google went to my high school. The NBA player who I believe is one of the biggest targeted individuals of our time, his name is Delonte West. He also went to that high school with me. He was one year older than me. We called him Reds. Before he had all those tattoos, he had one on his arm, said Reds. He's from his place called Spring Hill Lake in Greenbelt, Maryland. One year older than me. His name is Delonte West. Look him up. He's a guy that they say slept with LeBron James' mom. And now he ended up being gang stalked and they destroyed his life. He's homeless, lives on the streets on drugs. Delonte West. He went to high school with me. He grew up in the neighborhood, the apartment complex, right on the other side of town of me. You see what I'm saying? Went to the, everything's the same. So I come from an area with all of that kind of stuff going on, guys. Let me read some of these comments. Um, what's up? High strangeness. Sup, uh, let's see, Nico Dio, shout outs family from Montreal. Oh, look, there's the police giving you guys some street theater. Look, look what time it is. It's 1.23. Y'all seen that, right? It's 1.23 a.m. That number represents 24. 24. If you can understand how they play these games, that is a reminder to me that I am under 24-hour surveillance. Do you see how that works? They're watching my phone. They know that I'm live. They sent the police officer right there in my line of sight as soon as 123 is on the clock because this represents the number 24. This is how they message you guys. So there you go. 24-hour surveillance. You guys get to see it live. Look at your clocks right now. If you're on the East Coast, it's 123 a.m. where I am. And that's why you just seen the cop. All right. Let me see. Shout outs, family from Montreal. What's going on, Nico? Cop syncing up. Overtime. Every time I go outside, yeah, West Coast. You just seen that over here. I have been watching your videos. I have been watching D and Musa for years, and have added you to the favorite channel. Hey, thanks a lot, uh, Hot Strangers. I'm I'm really starting to get a hang of this YouTube stuff. I've never I never wanted imagined that I would have a YouTube page. I never wanted to have any kind of public. Any that's why I can't believe they started gang stalking me because I never spoke out. I'm, I'm not a guy that speaks. I was quiet. Maybe they did it because of the videos I was watching, you know, a lot of controversial, political, you know, things of that nature. It could have got me gang stalked or it could just be my ex and the police it could be jealous family. I just don't know. But I know all of those people participate. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'm, I'm going to make sure I try to keep some good stuff coming. Um, I got a whole lot of footage that I just haven't shared with you. I have so much videos, guys. I'm just going to start just letting it go and, and showing you guys what this is all about phones are tracking and monitoring everyone yeah these, these phones i wish i could throw this phone in the in the, in the in the river i swear i do i hate these phones i'm old enough to, i'm almost 40 as i always say i've been around before these phones were and life was so much better so much better maybe not as convenient but you know you get it so connet you said uh you're 23 i'm sorry to hear that you're a real ti at 23 they're getting you guys really young they didn't start this nonsense with me until I was into my mid to late 30s. You know, probably mid 30s. I'm in my late 30s. Now I'm getting ready to turn 40. So they just started with me not too long ago. So at least I got to enjoy my youth without this crap. My motto is can't gang stalk a gangster. I know that's right. Even though these gangsters out here gang stalking West Coast, the surveillance industry. 
not that simple. Who who says what's what's not that simple? The surveillance industry is behind all of this. The military industrial complex, surveillance uh, industry, all of that. There's a there's a good lot of good documentaries about that, uh, Manu. Hey guys, I'm gonna go for we we we've been going at it for an hour. I'm gonna go until 1:30, guys. Um, 1:27 is on the clock. I'm gonna put my window down. It's 1:26, right? That, that's that also could be 27. I'm put my window down so you guys can hear the noise campaign. Just listen. It's 1:26 a.m. Listen. Hold on. I can hear a truck. Hope you guys can hear the truck. But 1:27, I'm expecting you, you guys. Something's gonna happen for you guys to see. 1:27 a.m. Eastern time. Right now it's 126. As soon as that 27 is on the clock, you're going to see cars up here likely. You're going to see something. You'll see. This is the longest minute I've ever seen in my life. Oh, there we go. There's the police. You see that? God, I hope y'all guys saw that. It was the police. But it's still 126. That's, oh, here we go. 127. And now you start seeing cars up here. See how it works in, my, in mine, guys? Now you start seeing cars up here. That's how it works. Before that, you guys saw nothing, right? And the only reason you didn't hear a loud noise campaign on the highway over there or somebody walking past is because I'm live. The domestic surveillance industry. I know that's right. We have we we have to have a talk sometime. Yeah, man, we could do that. Holler at me. I don't really do a lot of phone, and if you want to talk to me, the best way would be through IG. I don't I don't feel that comfortable right now. There's a 27 gang stalker right there, by the way. 27 is on the clock. That's why they drove by. But yeah, with, with everything that's going on and my gang stalking is so severe, tragic, I don't really do the phone number stuff yet. It'll take a while before I start feeling comfortable doing that. I'm still sort of new. I'm a few years in. I'm, I'm, in my first, I'm still in my first five years of all this. So I still don't understand everything. And I don't feel, and I've been like, um, what's the word? duped and tricked by so many perps you know that i took it serious so i just gotta take my time on that all right let me put my window up i like to stay behind the tents when i'm trying to be low key out here like this all right guys let's see all right damn we're gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm get ready to cut this in about two minutes guys if you, anyone has any questions or anything i'm about to try to catch up on these comments and i'm gonna go ahead and end this guys i gotta get some rest i've been working all day when does it stop? I feel like it never ends. I'm being shocked in my feet. Please make it stop. Uh, just hang in there and do your research. And I would, what I would say to you, Connit, is to try to make your life as comfortable as possible while you're being gang stalked, while we all continue to try to get rid of this program. But you, you need to like really like spoil yourself, take care of yourself, pamper yourself. You got to try to take care of yourself as much as they trying to harm you. You got to balance that out by self-care. And that's mental, physical, spiritual, all that. Um, Atex phone app, Stingray. Yeah, that's right. Technology, fog pattern. Let me, I'm going to screenshot that because I want to. You mentioned a couple of I never heard. I never heard of the fog pattern. I'm trying to screenshot. Give me a second. There we go. Yeah, I never heard of fog pattern of life software. I need to look into that. I've heard of the ATEX app and the Stingray technology. The police just sit around and use Stingray technology on me all day, every day. They just sit back. Either It's either them or the NSA. They just sit back and monitor my phone all day long. Anything I watch, any any YouTube video, any anything if, and if they don't like it they do shit like they'll make they'll send noise campaigns around i mean i was watching a video not too long ago that had something to do with a, a, a cop a police officer it was not too long ago it had something to do with a police officer killing a mistress a woman he was sleeping with cheating on his wife he put his he put his gun in, in the window and, and murdered her and i'm getting ready watching that video and they, they send the police over to harass me in my like i'm sitting in my vehicle right now so when i'm watching videos they don't like or something they find controversial or if offends whoever's monitoring me they abuse the power that they have with this program and they send a perp around or to do a noise campaign or a walk or send a police around to just sniff around and harass me for like no reason literally they do this to me guys so it says uh i just ignore it. yeah kind of just ignore it as much as you can just if this it can get they will 
set circumstances for you for it to be dangerous where you could be harmed so you still need to be vigilant don't just be don't be dumb but you can't ignore it but don't be like negligent you got to be careful because they will get you up out of here if they get an opportunity to just because they're smiling and they're nice they're not cussing you out because that's not how gang stalking works gang stalkers are going to be nice and smile and all of that you see what i'm saying but they're trying to they're trying to disarm you so just be careful you know but don't walk around it's 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 it's, it's a tight rope you got to learn to walk and you're young so just grow into it i'm sorry you got to go through this so young yeah hit that like button for me a little bit let me let me read some more of these comments and i'm gonna have to i'm gonna um end this off it's going in mantra it's going it's also going on in montreal and that's sad man montreal quebec I was hoping Canada would be a little bit better. You know what I mean? I always heard such good things about Canada. I was always hoping it would be better than that. You know? All right, let me see. I'm going I'm to I'm catch all these comments. Then we're going to end this out. Um, it says, no worries. I think you're on TikTok. I'll follow. I'm not on TikTok, but if you do see something resembling me or any of my stuff on content, any of my content on TikTok, Leslie, let me know. I have a TikTok. I don't have a gang stalking uh, platform at all on TikTok or Twitter at this point. Um, those platforms are just too much for me. <laughs> I, I'll figure out how to do it, but it's just too much going on on Twitter. And it's too much going on on TikTok for me. Um, YouTube and Instagram are what, I, what I'm still trying to perfect. And then I'll go into the other stuff. But I don't have those. That's too much for me. Uh, High Stranger says, I went to a movie today and go to the bathroom hallway through. As soon as I go in, little kids laughing and one red white knowing something's because they look. Yeah, they get you everywhere, High Strangeness. I went to the movies to see the Bob Marley movie last week. And they sent some perps in at the end of the movie just to come in at the end of the movie and cough when 27 was on the clock. Towards the end of the movie. Matter of fact, I got a video of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compile a video here that I'm gonna show you like a day in the life of a TI. I'm gonna show you all the little stupid shit they do and how it's all time coordinated. And that's why I know it's gang stalking. That's why I'm not like a lot of the other TIs who don't realize, they don't know for sure if they're being gang stalked. Oh, maybe it's gang stalking. Not everything is gang stalking. Yeah, it, it, good. That is a positive way to think about not everything is gang stalking if you have that ability. I mean, if you have that, that, that luxury, but with me, Unfortunately, my intellect, the way my intellect is set up, I figured out their little number scheme. Not purposely, even with the 27 shit. I, it's not like I figured it out. They just kept putting the 27 in my face to where I couldn't deny that what I was seeing. And then my somehow I, I was able to figure out all the rest of the stuff because I have some level of intelligence here. So I was able to figure out some of the other stuff. So. If you guys could figure it out, I haven't seen anybody else out there yet who's figured out their pattern and their schedule of their gang stalking. I promise you, if you can, this your experience can be better. And while I got you guys here, I'm gonna say another thing to you. This might, you know, this might like rub some spiritual or religious people a wrong way, but let me tell you guys something. And it, I did a money ritual Monday, guys, and it worked. I, I'm not one who really been into rituals and all those kind of things. I wasn't really never into that stuff too much, right? But somehow I came across some information online about a money ritual that, that was very easy to do. And I said, okay, I'm going to go do it, right? Um, I got to do it on a Monday. So I literally did this money ritual at 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. on a Monday because it has to be on a Monday. I did it right after work. You guys, listen to me when I tell you this. That same day, it was this Monday, money just started appearing, right? All of a sudden, I get a nice cash app from one of my subscribers supporting the channel, which really helped me out. I needed it at the time. Um, then I went to the gas station. I, I bought a scratch off. I won the first scratch off. I'll show it to you. I got it. Matter of fact, I should show it to you right now. It's, it has 27 on it, too. The, the scratch off is... Let me, let me pull out and show you guys so you see how real I am. Same day, I did, I did a scratch off. Let me turn the light on. I did a scratch off the same the same day and won. Here it is right here. See that? Now I didn't win all that money, but what I'm saying is it was it, it was a winning ticket. See the sevens? So I did the money ritual <laughs> on that and then oh and then right after that, 
I got some good. I mean, this this understand that money. Then today, oh, this morning, some money, more money. An, another little cash app came in, but it was from something else. But what I'm saying is, these are little increments so far. But I did the money ritual, and immediately, like the person who who explained the ritual, like they said, uh, it's gonna just start happening. You just sit back and wait, and literally the same day, all of a sudden, and then throughout this week, periodically, it's been you know I haven't really had too many struggles with cash this week after doing the ritual. Now, my only question of, of those of you who understand this kind of stuff, is there a drawback to this? Is, is there some kind of negative uh, repercussion that can come from me doing this <laughs> ritual and it working this way? Because who knows what could happen, you know, coming up. If, if it worked that quick, immediately that way, I don't know. Is, 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 this, is this bad? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I don't know a, a lot about the spiritual world as much as some of you let's see i saw a gang stalker get jumped and stomped out in nyc and he was following a female's car and she got him washed up by 30 dudes hey man you read what you saw hit the like button yeah, yeah, yeah. And they but yeah, hit that like button for me, guys. Uh, we're gonna end this one out. I'm just trying to uh check out these uh I'm trying to check out these comments, make sure I get get everybody before I head out of here. Gotta get some rest. Hit the hit the like button. Uh Connie, I don't even know why I'm being none of us really know why. They're gonna assinuate, Connie. They're gonna assinuate a lot of different things about why you're being gang stalked. But you don't necessarily, they don't give you the reason why. They don't even admit that you're being gang stalked. That's, that's the thing about it. Because if, if they would admit it and I could know who did it, I would have been able to alleviate my problem a long time ago. It's just that they keep it so secret. All right, let me see. I don't even know why I'm being stalked. Okay, all right, that one. SDL, good morning, brother. Hey, good morning, SDL. Just want to come by and say what's up, gang stalked. I appreciate you stopping by. They use space lasers on me and struck my feet. Sorry to hear that. It's getting out of hand. I feel you. It seems like it's more TIs now. Uh, most of it lock it up. Hearing that that W band is the most of it. Look it up. Okay, um, Manu. I'm about to screenshot that. I'm just going to Google whatever that is. W-B-A-N. I'm going to look at is, is I'm going to look that up. The tech they use, and okay, it's the tech they're using. Okay, uh, do you have a page? Do you have a uh, I, do you have a YouTube channel put together where you got information explaining this stuff? You should. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for, because that's what matters to me is the tech that they're using that's tracking tracking us and you know going to my phone and you know monitoring everything. I I mean I know I keep saying I'm gonna end this, but I, I just got stuff that I want to say that I could put in the video. But it's like for instance, right? Even if you have a medical condition and you might want to look in Google and see what the medical see what's going on about yourself with your body and different things. We have these phones where we should be able to do that and it's supposed to be personal. We can't even do these things. If you look up a medical condition of something that you might think is wrong with you, but it might not be, but you're looking it up to find out the gang stalkers who are monitoring your phone see that and they're going to go out here all day long and try to remind you about say you look something about a tumor so they're going to remind you about tumors all day and they, to a point where it freaks you out so you think you're, got, you're about to die of cancer so you, you can't do what you need to do you can't go on and plan your trips and do things normally because they're watching all this shit and they're going to be there to disrupt and sabotage everything that you're trying to do you get what i'm saying so we have these. That's why That's why I don't even buy new phones anymore. I stopped buying phones a little while ago. I've been using the same phones for the past two years, two, three years damn near, because as soon as I buy a new phone, they hack it immediately. And they're in the phone watching everything I do. So why do I even why even buy a new phone? I, I, at first, I just kept buying new phones over and over again, but they get in every single phone, guys. They're using NSA backdoor resources. <laughs> it's nothing, you know, what do you do? They got the whole thing already rigged out. It was a lot better with, with these cell phones before they had. I hate these smartphones, guys. I didn't get my first smartphone until 2013. I knew it was going to be a problem before it became a problem. Uh, let me see. Uh, I really got it. Let me see. It says, I'm trying to see the doctors. 
to cure my shock in my leg, at least make it stop. I don't know if the doctors can. You, you, well, you do need, if you're having pain in your body, go see the doctor. But I, I wouldn't tell them that gang stalkers are shooting lasers at you because you might end up in a different, uh, you might end up in a different department of the hospital if you tell them something like that. <laughs> so, where, somewhere where you might not want to be. So, this, you know, but you might want, you definitely should get it checked out. Um, remote neural monitoring and human body communication v2k and much more no doubt all of that it's all real and i i didn't in the beginning i didn't believe it but it's it's real i just like my life and i just live my life unapologetically and keep it real i'm working on trying to i'm working on that myself connie just live your life unapologetically and keep it real because we have no privacy we have no secrets so i've i realized that there's no point anymore so I'm just going to let's let it fly. You know what I mean? Let it fly. Tell your story and people will resonate. The right people will find you. But we don't have secrets anymore. And, you know, it, it just let it all fly. You just let it go. I mean, look at look at this shit. Those people out here doing OnlyFans, all the sexual stuff. All this stuff is going on. That's why it's so funny when I, I feel them trying to persecute me and shame me about certain things. I could, when I look on the, when I look on, I mean, damn, these people, they shame you for looking at other people do shit. So not the people that's doing it not getting shamed, but you're getting shamed for being entertained by a certain thing. I don't know. It's, it's it's a weird times, but I don't take the gang stalker serious. I don't try to like sit back and think why they did this or why are they saying that. It's all irrational. It doesn't make any sense. They're dead ass wrong. And it's not much to even try to think intellectualize about. You know what I'm saying? They're just dead ass wrong with the end the program. I don't care what their thoughts are, what their opinions are about what I'm doing, what I'm wearing, what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I don't care. I just care about the fact that the officials are letting you degenerates do this kind of stuff. I don't care about your judgments or what you think or none of your, your thoughts and your beliefs. Cause you're 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 invading my privacy and judging, you know. YouTube videos that I watch in private. And if there's any pornography that I watch in private. Oh, that's another. Let me let me touch on that. You know, I'm going to start a membership uh, thing soon, too. I can get into some more in-depth stuff. But even with the sexual stuff, I noticed, right? They want to deprive you as a T.I. of sex, right? Like, they hit, hit, hit on the police again. All right? But anyway, so they want to deprive... I never see them do all this out here, by the way. But anyway, they want to deprive you of sex, Right? All right, I, in the first few years, I would just keep trying. You know, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm, I'm gonna have some sex, whatever. Ooh, ooh. But then when you finally just be like, all right, man, you know what? I done had plenty in my time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm almost forty. I can kind of chill out a little bit. I'm cool. Matter of fact, let me just do the celibacy thing for a little while, right? Me personally, I've been celibate for the whole 2024, and I haven't done anything like that since 2008. This is the first time that I went like three, four months or whatever without any kind of uh, sexual contact like that. Right. So I've been celibate. Now, it's I'm not an involuntary, like an incel, what that's called an incel, where you're involuntarily, cel involuntarily celibate, where they just won't sleep with you. Yeah, it's 20 people in here with 11 likes. Y'all hit the like. I'm, I'm giving y'all some. I'm about to give y'all a little TMI, too much information. But I think that I want to expose everything that comes with this program. So I'm, I'm just going to give you guys the, the truth, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to be vulgar or crass. But y'all hit that like button. Before I end this, seriously, I'm going to end this, guys. I got to go. But what I want to say is, even with sexuality and stuff, right? They want to deprive you of sex, but then when you show no interest in sex, they want to shove sex in your face. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I've been pretty much chilling out, doing the celibacy thing, um here the, this first part of this year this whole year i haven't you know haven't done anything I haven't even really been putting efforts in because even even as a ti it's so difficult if you're a single man like i am now i've been divorced for a couple years now and it's you can do things that you're going to be dealing with a perp you know what i'm saying they're going to they're trying to make her your handler she's going to be a perp she's going to do the things that are perping you um but um you know it's just sometimes you need you need that touch of the you know of of the opposite sex you see what i'm saying you need intimate intimacy from people we're human beings so it's this is not normal and this is i don't think this is the right thing to do i'm not big on semen retention and all that and but within this program it's just certain things you have to sacrifice and trying to have sexual relations and, and pursue that kind of stuff is so difficult and time consuming 
And you got to be so careful with that as a TI that it's just like, man, I just got to be in the mood completely to be dealing with that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because, and then on top of that, with this program, they make it so you don't even like people that much anymore. I've never been that kind of guy. I've always loved people and interested in other people's cultures and ideas. But in this program, you got to fight to still even like people. It'll make you disdain people generally, men or women. So it's like, why do you even want to have sex like that? Why do I want to give you pleasure? You're a perp. You're, someone can tell you to perp me, but I'm going to give you sexual pleasure and I'm going to be able to get some from you. Uh, it's just not, it's not as appealing as it used to be, knowing the true nature of people now, knowing they could be controlled by a program like this. You don't even deserve the sex because, you know what I'm saying, at this point. So we'll see. We'll see how that transpires. But I've been chilling with the whole celibacy thing for this year and you know i don't i don't miss i don't i'm not i don't feel like i'm missing out you know like i you know i might have had in the past you know if i but if i wanted to go and do some things i know i could that's important but I, i'm just kind of turned off right now uh, uh, from the idea of these because it's like these people make my skin crawl these women these gang stalking creeps it just it just it just makes my skin crawl generally and i just gotta fight every day to try to keep a good you know disposition with people because this can make you hate people if you aren't aware that this is going on this program is taking place all right i'm gonna start running my mouth for a minute and read some comments all right this says um all right so the west coast says right now san diego stranger stranger times of synchronicity yeah for sure I wish i was on the west coast i'll tell you that much do you believe in yashua yashua uh targeted by christ I, I don't I do believe in a higher being, but I'm not well versed in like the Bible and a lot of religion. I just, just never really. Everybody's different. That's what we got to understand in this T.I. stuff, too. Everybody's not as spiritual and we're being gang up because we're so spiritual and we're chosen and we're just one of God's, you know, the ones that follow. You know, I don't believe that necessarily. I'm not I'm not a horrible person. I'm not a bad person. I believe in karma treating people the way you want to be treated and all that otherwise I, 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 things would be a lot worse for me but um yeah I, I think that not i don't think it's only chosen people or god's chosen or special people that are gang stalk I, I believe gang stalking is more of a social humanistic experience thing out here and people's weaknesses like jealousies and hate and anger and revenge um which is in the spirit of course but that's what leads people to be gang stalked out here Okay, it says, uh, please, I'm begging for my life. Okay. God bless you in the chat and all. Two T.I. Yes, what's name? Ignore, ignore, ignore. It's not that bad. All right, guys. Look, um, the movie behind the scenes. Hey, guys, look, it's getting late. I got to get some rest. Target individual. I don't think it's government. I think it's the hackers. Hey, target individual. I do think it's the hackers using government. Uh, resources does whatever the government would use to hack us or get into the you know that the let's see i believe the government pretty much laid the path for them they have all the the resources and access to all of our back door to all of our information and the hackers just know how to exploit all of that you get what i'm saying they know how to do something to exploit the computer system that leads these police around to do these things that they do around us I believe hackers are exploiting all of the technology that leads the people to do the things that they're doing. So that's why I, that's why it's important not to get mad at the actual gang stalkers. That's why I'm going to post a video of my experience at the at the restaurant today where I kind of lost my cool a little bit, but I'm going to use that as a, a as an example because sometimes they're so disrespectful and they're so out of line and you're spending your money, you have to say something. You don't lose your mind and go crazy. Or they can use that as a, you know, you're a problem in the community. But if you just allow them to do that kind of stuff, that's crazy too. Why is it? Why do you, why, you know, you see what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be that pliable. So it's a, it's a thin line that we're being forced to, to uh, walk. All right. So it says fog pattern, life software. Okay, guys, I, I got that West Coast. I'm going to check that out. I screenshotted it. Uh, may work in your favor. Having a handler. What's it say? May work in your favor. May work in your favor having a handler you up in. If you don't react to something they do, they keep turning it up. Just milk the penalty like 
a pro soccer player. Yeah, if you react to it, they you react. You know, you got to learn how to play them. You got to learn how to, for one, don't publicly talk about what bothers you. If something doesn't bother you that much, act like it does. And if something bothers you, act like you love it. You get what I'm saying? You got to just play the system. It's a computer and it's not that smart. We're smarter than the, than the machine. I don't care what anyone says. And you can definitely um, you can just definitely adjust how the algorithm treats you. Last thing I'll say, last piece of advice I'm going to give before I end this is one thing that I've what I've done is I try to put positivity into the algorithms. Right. When I'm on IG, Instagram or YouTube or different places where you can leave comments. If you look at comments, it's usually a bunch of negative, negative, negative people, hateful, violent, all that kind of stuff. Right. So I like to go into these different places and I and I'll give my honest opinion, even if it's not the, the popular opinion of everyone else. But I know it's the right opinion. When you do that, you'll notice these people will attack you. Like right now, there's a post I said something about on a, something to do with Diddy earlier on somebody's IG. These people have been commenting hundreds of comments all day long, you know, damning me for saying something positive and logical. Not to, a few months ago, it was a video of a bouncer at a club punching a girl, like knocking her out because she gave him a little love tap because she was drunk. And I thought it was overkill. He didn't have to do all that. He knocked her out. And I said something on the video. And the whole, it seemed like the whole world jumped on me for saying that he shouldn't have hit the, oh, he hit her first. He tapped her, drunk girl at the club. You guys know what I mean. He knocked, six foot six bouncer knocked her out. And I mentioned, you know, that's wrong. He didn't do all that. They, they went crazy on me, calling me a simp. Uh, you know, all the, hey, she's not going to sleep with you, bro. I mean, these people out here are crazy nowadays. Matter of fact, if I still have those notifications in my IG page, I'll screenshot them and I'll show them. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I forgot. All right, let me end this, guys. It's the hackers. Look up broadcasting numbers through radio waves. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm about to end this, but then you just said something there. You said, um, it's the hackers. Look up broadcasting numbers through radio waves. All right, I was getting ready to end this, but now you just said something that I might need to hear. Um, I, I, I see you, Carol. I've been seeing you. I think, Carol, you're down there in Miami. They're hired by a local police department. If you are, Carol, um, I know how bad it is down there in South Florida. They're crazy. But listen to me. Um, they're worse here in Georgia. I've done gangs talking in both states. I've experienced gangs talking in both places. They're here, they're down there in Miami where you are. At least they gang stalk you and they go mind their business, right? They go off and go to the beach and live their life. But here, this like a it's 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 in their blood here in Georgia. They don't have the beach to go to. They don't have the you know they don't have the sunny weather and palm trees. These people, they're they they're depressed. They're down. They're angry. They're racist. Some of them, not all of them, but you get what I'm saying. There's a lot of that here, or they're just it's it's different here. So if you're in Florida, just be glad you're there because <laughs> I've been around some other places and the people that are bored and unhappy, the gang stalking is worse. Yeah, down there in in Florida, I, like I did, I experienced gang stalking down there for a couple years, and it's annoying because there's so many people, but they just don't seem they take it as serious as they do somewhere like here in Georgia, in the Atlanta, Georgia area. They want to kill you here. They try to kill you on a highway. They they try to get you in altercations of all these armed people. Everybody here got armed. Everybody here got a pistol. <laughs> Guns everywhere. They, they I, You know, literally, when I got here tonight, I want you guys to go back and watch this beginning of this video. You're going to see a guy, a dog walker stalker, standing right here juggling fire, okay? So make sure you when, you when you get a chance, check out this whole video. Since I've been parked here, when I, my first hour here, a couple pulled up right here where I'm pointing my camera. They got in the back seat, had sex for about 10, 15 minutes. They drove off. Right before them, a guy was parked here when I pulled in, tried to get into an altercation with me because he knew I was coming here, I'm sure. And then we had the fire jugglers and the dog walkers. Who, if you guys were here from the beginning, you saw it. And you guys just check out the beginning. Okay, Uncle Simp. What's going on? I recognize that name. They got me in Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, hey, I've been to Houston and the gang stalking was severe. They had they had uh, all kinds of everywhere I went in Houston, it was bad. I didn't stay long. 
I just wanted to go out there. That was back years, a few years ago. I wanted to see if gang stalking would travel, and it did, and it was terrible. Um, for sure, for sure. Savage gang entertainment. I recognize you. Been gang stalked since 2018. Never lost more ish. What's up, uh, uh, DB? I see you. Gang stalker simulation. Man, I need you to give me some more information on this whole monetization of the videos thing. You think you probably got it down packed, man. They told me some of my videos need to be cleaned up, like I was telling you last night. So you were saying that I shouldn't even clean the videos up. I should just leave them up and just keep putting new ones up. So let me know, because I don't want them to review it again. And they look at the videos and see that I left those videos there that they already told me about. <laughs> and then they cancel my monetization again. So I need to holler at you. Because I need to make a little bit of money off of this gang stalking stuff. They're making money off of me. So I need to at least try to um, get a little compensation, you know, payment for pressure is what I call it. Man, feels like some of my comments have been shadow removed. I've been seeing a lot of your comments on here. If you're talking about here, man, new richer. I, I think I even screenshotted something that you said, but I, yeah, I definitely been seeing your comments. Target individual says it's the hackers look up broadcasting numbers through radio waves. Sorry to hear that, um, Savage Gang. I know you're probably young, too. And that's what I was saying earlier. I really feel bad for y'all young guys who are dealing with this because you didn't get an opportunity to experience life the right way. You, you get what I'm saying? You, you, you didn't get to... They didn't start this with me, like I said, until like the last few years in my mid-30s. So I got to enjoy the majority of my youth, at least not knowing I was in a program. And they weren't overt. So I really enjoyed myself. You get what I'm saying? So I feel sorry for you younger guys out there dealing with this because you're, you're getting a distorted reality and it's really sad. But the thing, I mean, I, I wish I could tell you, you know, but yeah, this is new. No, there's no one that can give us advice on this because this is never, there's never been this before. There's never been this kind of a program with this technology. So there's no one from the past any past generations that can really give us any advice on this we're just going off experience yeah just clean up the new joints you might be able to monetize this live as well yeah for sure they're gonna they're gonna uh review it again so i just want to make sure by that time i'll be ready i should have did it the first time but i just gave it a try with the, with the way i had it but i already knew Cause some of the, cause I got copyrights on a, a few of the videos, which I I knew I would get, but I wanted to get the message out, and I I, I was gonna accept it because I didn't expect to get monetized so quick. Um, and I thought I had time to still kind of be raw and, and and you know before I had to tighten up. Uh, menu Richard is YouTube word filter. Oh, YouTube word filter. I don't have a maybe YouTube got a word filter. I didn't put it in. You can say whatever you want in here, as long as you're not a perp. And if you're a perp, you can talk too. If there's any perps in here that wants to admit and apologize and expose the program for us while you're in here, now is a great time. We welcome that. And, and oh, and there's 20 people in here. If you haven't already hit the like button, guys, I'm still here. I'm over time. I said I was going to end this 30 minutes ago, and here I am. So y'all do me a favor and hit that like button. You know what I mean? I got this this whole uh, Delta 8 that I'm sitting here waiting to, <laughs> to puff on and relax. I've been working all day. But yeah, for those of y'all who just got in here, I started this video 93 minutes ago because I wanted to show this fire juggler. When you get an opportunity, watch this live. Go back and check out this live in the beginning. You're going to see a fire juggler. I was sitting in my car. If you can see, it's all dark in here. I got it all darked out. I do the van life thing, right? So I'm in my van at the working all day, and I I I feel a, I feel like someone's outside of my window, so I pull the cover up, right? Like this. Let me show you how I do it. So I just pulled the cover up. See that like that? And uh, it was a guy right there juggling fire. So when you when you see this, you'll see it in the beginning, 
I might even post. I got a quick video of it, but I, my phone is out of out of space, so I, that's why I decided to go live because it wouldn't let me record them the way I wanted. But I did record them a few minutes, so we'll see. But you'll see either way. You guys are gonna see it. Okay, second try. Gang stalking, targeted slavery. Not on YouTube. What are you saying? Okay, it says gang stalking, targeted slavery on OD. Say. Is everything spelled correctly right there, Manuel? I'm about to screenshot that, and I'm going to take a look at that video. So is that what I need to put in? Targeted slavery on ODC. I don't know what that is. You got to um, explain to me what you're trying to say there so I can check that out. I just had all my accounts past 1k all of them were hacked and removed by these gang stalkers i got my youtube channel with the biggest followers how did they hack you savage what can i do to avoid them hacking me did you have a two did you have a two-factor uh did you have your two-factor authentication set up because youtube made me set that up to do my adsense uh, account they make you uh do a two-factor authorization author, authorization did you do that and if so how did they get you anyway okay thanks that was called odyssey okay my channel's name okay hold on a sec i'm getting confused now let me see okay so you're saying check out odyssey menu you're saying check out Odyssey. Targeted slavery on Odyssey. What is Odyssey, by the way? I heard that it sounds familiar. What is Odyssey? Oh, it's a YouTube video sharing site. Is it an app or is it a website? Odyssey. My channel name. Okay, so West Coast and man, you y'all are talking about the same thing, I'm assuming. Odyssey is a video platform like YouTube, but it's a lot better. I believe that's supposed to say better. Gang stalking, targeted slavery. All right, I'm going to check that out on Odyssey. I guess it's odyssey.com, I assume. I hear you true, man. Hey, I finally got some time to do it tonight. I actually was trying to record the... Hey, true man, you got to catch the playback of this live. The, the beginning of it was very interesting. The reason why I started this live because a guy was outside of my window juggling fire, a dog walker. A dog walker stalker was juggling fire. And that's the reason why. And I didn't have enough uh, storage to record them. So I decided to go live and then people came in here. So I decided to stick around for a while. And here we are 97 minutes later and I'm still running my mouth. I haven't even sparked my 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 Delta Eight legal cannabis yet. Sonny Crockett. It says I didn't know how they did it, but me and you both know they can find a way. Okay, so you said you did not have a two two uh, factor authentication set up, uh, Savage. That's supposed to help, but they always find a way. I mean, even with my stuff, like I change phones, I got multiple accounts. They are in every single thing because they have a, they have, they're, they're, they're watching everything that we do from the background. They're, you, you, if you put a new password in or anything you do, they're just sitting back. I believe just monitoring everything. They're looking at our screen. So we can, you can, you can't cover that up. You know, when you type your passwords in, even. Sometimes they show the letter before they put the star there to cover it up. They can see all that. So they have all of our passwords, our bank accounts, everything. They have a backdoor access to just watch all that, man. We're at such a disadvantage. We're being done so wrong. This this era of time, we're just so unlucky to be the people subjected to this technology. The people before us, the generations before us, they were so... They don't realize how lucky they were, even though it wasn't as convenient. But all this intrusive invasions of privacy, you let all these nerds and weirdo creep freaks who would never have any access to you. They would never be in your world. 
you could be totally opposite. Now they can just watch you every day through technology and all that, you know, weird stuff. They sometimes mess with your reception and I managed to fix it by resetting. Yeah, um, Uncle Simp, it's important as a TI, honestly, to probably reset your network settings every day. I don't, I don't do it enough. I'm glad you just reminded me, but I'm hacked so bad. They, I mean, yeah, you know, I don't think y'all understand. They literally are on my phones 24 seven. That's how a lot of times they know whether I'm awoke or not. If I'm on my phone, if my phone is on, because I'll probably put it on like airplane, you know, turn off the the data and stuff when I go to sleep different things but yeah they uh you, you might want to reset your network often because they always and, and and they hate when you do that too i notice whenever i reset my network they start sending a lot of perps around to get close to me to try to resend the silent text message or whatever they do to get into it but you notice when you keep your camera uh camera cu cameras covered up on your phone you'll notice that they'll send a lot of more people around. Like, like if I don't have my camera, like when this is covered up, I keep it covered with electrical tape. When it's covered, they send more perps around. But when it's not covered up, they seem like they feel more comfortable and they don't have as many eyes on me, actually, you know, physically around here on me. They might see through our eyes, uh, DB, because... They're doing something. They tune. I can feel them tuning into me somehow. Like that, you know that's you know that feeling back in the day when you turn the TV on. You can tell a TV is on even if you don't see it. You get that little that sound that, that I can't describe it. That frequency is what you feel. Yeah, they. Uh, I can feel that consistently. And with me, if you guys know, I'm gang talking about the numbers. They always do it based upon time. Like like right now it's two o seven a.m. All right. You, they just had a noise campaign. You probably didn't hear because my windows are up. Let me try to put them down real quick. See if uh, let me try to put put them down. See if it's still two oh seven. Let's see if we get another noise campaign. Probably not, cause I'm live. We're doing pretty good in the likes, guys. We got eighteen people in here, and I got seventeen likes. Can okay, one person hit a like for me? Let's let's add. Let's get eighteen eighteen there. All right, it's 208 now. I'm putting my window back up because I don't want one of the perps to come by and be able to get a good look at me so they can send it, send, up, send my image to the Fusion Center. So you said they see through your eyes, man. I hope they're not seeing through my eyes. I really, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Um, that, 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 I just still can't. Why don't, why don't, if they can see through our eyes, how come we don't see any video of that? There's video of so many things. Why can't I go to Google or YouTube and see a video example of somebody seeing through someone's eyes <clears throat> there's so many things that i can get a video of why why don't they have a video of imagery of people seeing through people's eyes oh shit i got my cover over i would love to see see that Cause I don't, I really don't want them to see everything that I'm seeing like that. That's not cool. <laughs> they do. Uh, True man says they do. Did you get the book, Guinea Pigs? Nah, but I'm about to screenshot that. Now that you just mentioned it, I've been screenshotting a lot of stuff, man. Any information y'all have, give it up, man. I screenshot it and I check it out. Yeah, but what, I'm gonna check that book out. But again, like I said, though, if with all this, uh, with all of this uh, stuff that's on video, that we see everything nowadays. How come we don't get to see that? Why isn't there anyone with a nice? Why is there any scientific pages or websites or anybody bragging about this and showing that they have a technology to look through people's eyes? Why? Why? Why don't they talk about it more and show and show it? That's something that'll get get them rich. <laughs> so they like to see Big Wood. Yeah, exactly. I, they I, if they can see through my eyes, man. I mean, that's I don't know. They can. That's 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 a whole nother level of I don't know, man. I want to see the proof, though. I, I really want to see the proof. I don't. I don't want to say I don't believe it because there's certain things that I've experienced and seen in this in this gang stalking program that 
uh, people wouldn't believe. You, you you get what I'm saying? So I, I don't. I'm not gonna say that. Oh, I don't. I don't believe that. That's not true. No, I don't believe. I don't think that's the case at all. Wow, I've been talking to y'all. My whole uh, my backup battery. Look, I had my phone plugged into a backup battery, and it's down to zero. Look at that. We drained the whole thing. It was at forty. And my and my. Uh, okay, I got about sixteen left. I'll, I'll I'll talk to you guys for a little while. I got a little bit of juice left. I've been up. I've been doing this now for a hundred and five minutes. I never did a live this long. It went fast. Well, I see the comments starting to slow down. Y'all probably getting tired. And like I said, I've been like I've been saying for the past 30, 40 minutes, I need to go ahead and end this and get some rest myself. If anybody in here has any information or anything they want to say for the people before I um end this, now is the time to go ahead and do it. This is a really bad situation though. Exactly a hundred. You don't just wanna assume things just because these gang stalkers say so. I've caught my perp in many lies. Yeah, the, the perps are gonna lie to you. You just gotta know which is which. Um, that's the that's the big part of it is a TI. Everything, our whole perception of reality is being distorted. So as a TI, if you can figure out how to see through the distortion, and the and the younger you are, it's probably even is even more difficult. So a lot of you younger TIs, twenties, late teens. Even earlier thirties, you need to be talking to some of us who are a little older, pushing forty, who've been who who experienced life before all this technology took over, because we can see things a little more clear than you guys can. We we know what's normal patterns. Like I've been driving out here on the road since two thousand and twenty, no two thousand and one. I did my road test the day after nine eleven, guys. I've been so I know what's normal on the road, normal patterns and normal so. Yeah, some of you young guys, you, you probably don't know because you haven't had the experience. So you need to really be listening to some of the older guys on some things because we've been around longer and we have a normal expectation of what life looks like based upon this illusion that they're trying to put in front of us. All right, so um, DB said, uh, why do you think they make you see all the dumb shit 24-7? The AI has to see in real time that the program is working. I, that's that's why I believe it, though. That's the reason why um, I believe it that they're it's experimenting and they want to see through eyes at AI. I believe what you just said makes sense. It's just I want I. It's just that all this information out here. Where is the where is more proof of it to show that it's not a myth? To show that is you, you see what I'm saying? Why don't they? Why don't we see more of that? I can I can pull up on YouTube and Google anything in the world that I want to see. Why can't I see these scientific experiments taking place? Why is it more of just a word of mouth thing? But you said look at the book Guinea Pig. So I'm gonna check the book out. Maybe it's in the book. But in 2024, I want to see some proof. I want to see this happen. Been hearing people talk about it since I've been in this gang stalking realm. I've been watching gang stalking videos for about four years now, maybe three or four years. I have never seen it. I still haven't seen that, but I've seen so many other things. Uh, Alex Jones channel had a guy reporting on it. I think Eric Carson might talk about seeing through eyes. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, they're, true man, they're talking about it. We could talk about anything, but I want to see that that's true. You know, I want to see it with my own eyes. Because if this is something that somebody would be very proud of, why wouldn't they want to show that they have that kind of technology? And if it was that much of a secret, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. If it was top secret, they don't want anybody to know, then how would we, we be sitting here talking about it right now? We wouldn't know. There's so many things that they don't want us to know about, we're not going to be talking about it. They off people for stuff like that. All right, let me catch up. Uh... This video is on targeted. The video is on targeted individual app. Yes, they can see through your eyes. The video is on targeted individual app. What do you mean targeted individual app? Are you saying that they have an app where they see through targeted individuals' eyes? Um, yeah, and, and there was another uh, TI that was talking about 
like servers, like the human servers, right? All right, here y'all got yeah. See, y'all get y'all got me going, but y'all are in here, so I'm gonna keep going for a little while. But um, all right, because I'm, I'm well, I'm gonna do a video about it on celebrities. What I noticed when I got to the Atlanta area, all these celebrities started coming. Like I, you know, doing Uber out here, right? I got I had little Scrappy in my car, the rapper Little Scrappy from Love and Hip Hop and all that. I picked him up from the studio. And I took him all the way home. He lives out in the suburbs from the city all the way far out to his home in the suburbs. I'm not going to put his business out there where he is. But basically, he was in my vehicle. And, you know, he was kind of, I'm not, you know, I don't want to give too much away because I'm doing a video, but he was pretty much just giving me the idea that, trying to give me the idea that this gang stalking shit is coming from family. That's, I'll just leave it there for right now. And another, and then right before that, I'm at the gas station. Kodak Black pulls up with about 20 <laughs> black SUVs on schedule, on the 27 time schedule. I got the video in my phone. I'm gonna show you guys all this. Kodak Black shows up. And, and, okay, and then, and not too far after that, there's a porn star. Her name is Yum. I think it's, it's called Yum the Goddess or something like that. I know it's Yum. I think it's Yum the Goddess. Anyway, she's a porn star, a well-known porn star. I picked her up from Atlanta Hawks game not too long ago. It's just all these celebrities, people who have a little bit of fame, keep end up coming around me. I'm thinking again, it is something like they're like they're on. It's like they're part of a show. Think about when you got a rapper, when a rapper has a hot song out, a new up and coming rapper. All of the other rappers will do a verse with them because that that's the new song that's getting the attention. Uh, or there was like a certain person you do an interview with, right? If you're an artist, you got to go see that person and do an interview. Because it's gonna get you more like it's got. I think Aiden Ross is somebody. Uh, Aiden Ross for you young people. It's another young guy named Kai Sanat, little goofy dude. Um, like you got to go see these certain people, and it'll bring more shine and clout to you. It seems like with some of us TIs, if they come around us, there is some kind of dark web or some kind of shit that we don't know about that it that we're getting so much attention that they come around us. It, it adds to their celebrity as well right so that's i've been thinking about that all these experiences just around celebrity you know since i've been in the atlanta area all these things happening I, let me say this too when i got to atlanta these things happened the ysl young thug trial started as soon as i got to atlanta they went and got ysl and young thug in them as soon as i got to atlanta the dude kevin samuels the the relationship guy um, you know, he died in a hotel and then what they would, and then what they did was they kept on sending me on Ubers to that same hotel where Kevin Samuels died last year. You see what, well, year, 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 about a year and a half ago, as soon as I got to Atlanta, he died at this hotel down here and they kept sending me to that hotel. There was a mass shooting, a guy who I know was a TI, shot some people up down here in Atlanta. I, they kept sending me on Ubers to that hotel that, I mean, to the hospital that night, the same hospital that he, that he shot some people at. And they kept on mentioning it in my vehicle, the 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 the, 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 the passengers, and the guy ran to the neighborhood that I was in that day. There was another shooting at a at a Taco Bell around here. The they all of a sudden sent me on a a, a DoorDash all the way across town. I wasn't even working that area to go to that Taco Bell where the police shot and killed somebody. That you know, you see what I'm saying? This these are the things they do when they got control of you using Uber, DoorDash. Lyft and all of that. People think that the drivers are, are the only perps, but the drivers who are TIs are getting perped by the passengers and you know the the I get what I believe is the CIA and the hackers who are controlling these apps targeting us. All right, let me catch up a little bit. We still going in here. We damn we got 23. I might as well go for a little while longer. Hey, look, for those of you who just got in here, let me tell you what's going on real quick. Uh, first of all, do me a favor and hit the like button. We only got a few more minutes in here, guys. I really got to end this. I've been going for 113 minutes. But the beginning of this video, um, I started out, I caught a guy who was juggling fire right outside of my window doing street theater. It was a dog walker juggling fire. You only going to see that kind of stuff here. So when you get a chance, check out the very beginning of this video on the playback and you'll see what I mean. And then I just ended up going from there. All right, so I'm about to see. I think y'all getting tired. So look, um, you are the scientific experiment. You are the proof. What more proof do you need than yourself? Well, 
I'm gonna say, man, DB, the fact that they're doing all of this stuff, there's multiple. That's because they have plausible deniability. So yeah, we can say that they're doing a science experiment on us, but at the same time, they do law enforcement things. You, you get what I'm saying? They do like security. They 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 do other things that are outside of just science experiments. So I think I think that it might just depend on the person because a lot of this stuff can be ex explained. As far as it could be explained for security reasons, it could be explained for like uh, retaliation or it could be explained as experiments. Like you're saying, there's so many different ways you can describe, you know, the intentions of what we're going through. You, you get what I'm saying? I think for some people, it may be more experimental. For me, it's an attack. It doesn't feel experimental. It just feels like they've been they're trying to take down my life. Every time I start to progress, they go, they pull strings and go through hoops to drag me back, pull me back a little bit. Like they don't want me to move forward. That what, what what's the experiment in that? That's just trying to dog somebody's life out, and then they like to come around when they got me down and kind of like crowd and mob me to make me feel insecure and down about whatever it is, which doesn't work anymore. Because I know I'm in a program. There's nothing that I'm going through out here that's because of me. They're doing this to me. If it wasn't because of this, I'd be a millionaire right now. They've done this to me because of hate and envy and anger. You see what I'm saying? That's I don't see anything experimental here. They, they just say they're just trying to hurt me, man. You know what I mean? And and pull me back. Yes, they have targeted individual at. Another T I found told me about it. I got in the app and it's an app where they other T I talk about their experience and it's the T I individual app on the app has a scale. Hey, if you get the name of that app, uh send it to me. Um let me let me you know leave it as a comment on uh one of the either I know you are on IG and you're on YouTube, so just leave the name of the app in a comment. Don't use the DMs. My DMs are so full. I'd be scared to look at them sometimes. There's so many there, and I, I can't keep up, and I, I don't get to answer everybody, and I, and I feel, you know, a way about, like, I, people think I'm ignoring them, and I'm not. It's just overwhelming when you with everything you got to deal with as a TI and, you know, you know, trying to be able to communicate with everybody all the time, and it's just difficult. So leaving a comment is best because the, uh, the DMs, uh, my DMs are intimidating. It's, it's just full. Yeah, definitely. It's hate. Uh, listen, you know, police that talked about the Francis Key Sky Bridge were getting hit with direct energy weapons. Why, how, how do you know that they were getting hit? I'm not. I believe they were because I get hit with them and I know I do. So I believe it. One thing I can tell you, which I mentioned before, y'all need to look into the CEO of that company who that hit the bridge. If y'all heard about the Asian woman that drove her tesla into a lake in her own property last week it was recently sometime this month she just drove her the ceo of that company that just ran into that bridge in baltimore she just died the ceo like a week or two ago she she backed her car into a lake on her own property and died and her sister is the wife of of uh congressman or senator mitch mcconnell the longtime majority leader of the house who just stepped down a few days ago. So his sister-in-law just died in a lake in her own car and her company just destructed some of the critical infrastructure. Mind you, TIs, we're supposed to be getting surveilled because they're protecting the critical infrastructure, but they just let a ship slow roll. Oh, oh, another thing, guys, let me say this. I promise the last thing I'm going to say that, um, that ship, that, that thing that just happened in Baltimore that we were talking about, a few days before that happened, guys, go to my inst go to my shorts on YouTube. I just posted a video, I want to say maybe three days before that big uh, bridge collapse happened. I posted a video of me walking across the bridge at my university in Baltimore called Morgan State University. I was walking across the bridge just doing a video, you know, doing what I do in my shorts, just showing you guys, you know, just my travels. I walked across, across the bridge, the famous bridge of Morgan State. And then a few days later, at 1.27 a.m., guys, I always talk about 27. 
at 1.27 a.m., that that container, that, that ship hit the bridge. Mind you, my I believe my gang stalker might have came from my ex-wife whose family is from Baltimore. She has an aunt who is kind of, you know, has some pull in that city as well. You understand? And I, she's probably an Eastern star. That whole city is full of a lot of black Eastern stars and Masons. You get what I'm saying? If my ex-wife family is, is, is from there. And I just posted a video walking across a bridge and then all of a sudden that happens. So I thought that was interesting, guys. I really did. All right, let me read these last few. I'm, I'm really running out of battery. I only got like 6% left and I don't want to just cut off on you guys. We'll do another live again uh, soon. This is the longest one I ever did. So this is pretty cool. A lot of y'all got in here. We got the chat. Uh, let me see. Um, they make me stutter. I've never stuttered since. Yeah, they, they. Hey, look. I know what you're saying, Savage. Because even with me, I can feel my cognitive, my speech, and different things. I, I feel like are being affected by this. I don't know if it's because I'm isolated and I don't probably communicate and converse with people as much as I used to. You don't use your words as much being isolated. So maybe, or I feel like it's the, the direct energy weapons. It seems, it seems like they're targeting my head. You know what I mean? It's like they, it seems like they're targeting my head with these, these direct energy weapons. And it seems like they're trying to like degrade my cognitive abilities on some like, on some Muhammad Ali type of shit. And like they're trying to like dull me down. Like when I, like, like, for, like, like for instance, when I talk to these people, this gang stalker who came and fixed my car the other day, right? Everybody that comes to fix my car, they, they flip them and turn them into gang stalkers. And I think they keep doing shit under there, causing me more problems. He just fixed my car. And I anyway, I'm not even going to get into it. But he seemed like there's something like in his brain. Like when I try to talk to him, everything is on a delay. It seems as if he's getting instruction. Like matter of fact, when he showed up, to, when he showed up to fix my car, he showed up at eleven twenty-seven on a dot. He made sure he pulled up and got the car at eleven twenty-seven, and then he kept on coming from up under my car whenever the one of those times are on the screen on my phone to have to say something to me or whatever. That kind of coordination, and he just seemed like everything was on a delay when I tried to talk to him. It seems like he was getting word through some kind of mental implant or some weird shit. I don't know. But, yeah, they do seem like they are cognitively compromised by something, you know? Uh, let's see. Didn't you say you went to school for psychology? You need to start smoking that fake weed so you can think clearly. <laughs> the only reason, yeah, I went to school for psych, uh, DB, but this, uh, I'm telling you, man, I, I smoked real weed my entire life. Started when I was like 17, brother. I'm trying to tell you, this Delta 8 stuff that I've been dealing with for the past two years changed my life. And as a targeted individual, it's not legal here in Georgia. So I can't risk having any real reefer on me because anytime they want, they always pull me over, look all through my car. And I got a situation here where I go ahead and let them look through my car. I have to sacrifice. I'm not, I can't go into the reason why, but I know and law enforcement knows as well. So some things I got to compromise with them with. You see what I'm saying? Anytime they, they, they like in the past six months, they flipped my car like three times, looked through everything all through it. Like they, like the way they did Puff Daddy's house the other day, they flipped my car through and through. And I, I don't have any drugs. I've, I've never had, I don't have any drugs in here. None of that kind of stuff. You know, I got a legal firearm. That's never an issue. This is Georgia. So <clears throat> if I end up with having some real shit in here and I'm a TI, that's all they need is to get a charge on me. I went all these years, I'm almost 40 and I got a clean record. They would love for me to have some of that real weed on me and they pull me over and now they got a charge on me. And then now my target, I'll probably go through a whole nother level. So this this Delta Eight stuff, bro. You need to you need to do your research, man. This is not what you think it is. I'm telling you, it's helped me get through this gang stalking stuff. Kept kept you know it's legal. You gotta look into it, man. I'm telling you, you're missing out. It's 2024. You better expand your knowledge base on on this cannabis, man. This is not some old smoke stop smoke shop stuff they had collecting dust <laughs> under the case. 
it's a whole new booming industry that might not really be in PA yet. I don't know. Um, gang stalker simulation. Look up fog platform life software. To what are the name of these people? What people? They admit to gang stalking on their Wikipedia. Oh, okay, okay. So it's called Fog Pattern Life Software, and they admit to gang stalking. Yeah, we need to... Oh, it's called Fog Reveal? All right. All right, guys, I don't want this... All right, I got 5%. I don't want this to just cut off abruptly, so I'm going to try this one more time. Anybody who has anything they want to say, anything you want to put in the chat for other people to to uh to see, you got you got one minute to go ahead and do it, and I'm gonna end it. Oh, and that's another thing. Uh, mood THC took up mood cannabis. Yeah, uh, and that's another thing too. You can control your indica and your sativa. Like as a targeted individual out there, you want to try to stick with indica. Because it's the it's the it's the strain that kind of relaxes you more. When you go into the store, you can get sativa indica. This indica is good for a TI. For me, it has helped me keep my cool. Because when I don't have this indica, I notice that I'll be a little more uh a little more snappy with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I it, 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 there's a more of a chance that somebody might get jacked up or something. You get what I'm saying? So it, over the past two years, it has helped that immensely. You get what I'm saying? You just got to do what works. Don't consent to any cop searches. Yeah, I know what you're saying, DB, but I, I got to compromise with them, bro. Usually I wouldn't, <clears throat> but I'm just going to tell y'all like this. The police are not targeting you guys because they want to or they, they personally got a problem with you. And typically, if you, if you keep it cool with them, it's certain things that they will keep it cool with you with. As targeted, and this, this, this is what I should say. Targeted individual is not all bad for us, guys. That's one thing I want to say because speaking of the police, there they are right there. But one thing I want to say is it's not all bad for us. And there are people out here who, who try to help us, guys. There's people out here who are trying to help us, but they can't just say it out loud. They can't, you know what I'm saying? But there are people in their own ways that do things that, that help us along. I've been out here surviving pretty much by myself for the past four years since I left my home in 2020. But if it wasn't for some lucky situations or certain little things that were let go and looked the other way, I wouldn't be as in a condition that I'm in right now. Like I feel, I feel fine. I don't, I don't have, I, other than being a TI, you know what it does to your life. Other than that normal shit that I'm used to, I don't have too many complaints at the moment because of smart decision making, understanding my targeting. I understand the patterns and the number games and all that shit. You see what I'm saying? And I make certain sacrifices and compromises and I know who to not offend as a TI. And if you can learn those things, your situation can you can survive a little longer and you can have some good times. Look at my shorts page. There's a lot of travel, a lot of good times, a lot of positive things. A lot more, a majority of that was going on during my targeting as well as the down times. I try to give you guys both sides to balance it out because if you handle this properly, you can still have some enjoyment. It won't be perfect. You're a TI, but it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom and pain and suffering at all times. Don't consent to the. I had that fake Delta B for it was trash. It's not for everybody, DB. And also, if you if you are if you if you're smoking it, if you're still smoking regular weed, and then you try to deal with the cannabis, I mean the T eight, I mean the THC Delta eight, and all this, it might not work right. You're gonna have to probably take a break from smoking regular uh, reefer for a while. I'm sorry, oh regular weed for a while. And let your tolerance level um, get back to normal. Let it adjust. So then when you start messing with the Delta 8 stuff, it'll give you, I'm telling you, bro, you don't have munchies, no crazy munchies. You don't have those symptoms where if you don't have it, you can't eat. 
you don't start feeling it eating and the symptoms of that crankiness that you might have it go it's not as severe this is this is i think this is perfect for ti's especially for a ti that's almost 40 that doesn't need to be high out of his mind like that as a ti is is not safe i need some mid Yeah, me too, Magic Leaf. The past few days, me too, I've been drained. Uh, there was a full moon on Sunday, I believe it was, and, and my job was filled with people. I just didn't understand why there were so many people around me this weekend until I'm riding home and I look up and the moon is bright and shining. It was so, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I believe they were doing a ritual. Um, they're probably doing some kind of ritual of energy, something, because I, I mean, I was drained this weekend. Even today, I took a nap before I, I did my last shift of work today. I had to take a, I took an hour nap. That's why why I'm up talking to you guys right now at two thirty six in the a.m. and I've been on here for a, a one hundred and thirty minutes because I took an hour nap today, and I don't usually do that. But I've been feeling drained lately, magically. So I know what you mean. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. Seriously, this time is over. Let's end this. I, I got. I got to get some rest. It's two thirty-six. <laughs> We've been doing this for one hundred and thirty minutes. So what is that? Two hours and ten minutes. Oh my god. So um, it has been real. I enjoyed this live. Got a lot of information. I'm gonna say this one last time. We got one minute. If it's anything you guys want to throw in the chat for these twenty-one people to see. Throw it out there. If you want to follow your page or anything you want to tell people, go ahead and drop it here. Any links. Also, please hit the like button before you leave. Um, you know, I want these, I want my message and your message to get out. That's right, Magic Leave. Get that rest. All right, y'all. I, I, hey, look, if you didn't catch the beginning of this video, Watch the playback. The beginning is of this uh, live is very, very interesting. You're gonna see something that you you, you don't you, you haven't you probably don't see every day. All right, guys, it's been real. I enjoyed this. We'll do it again sometime soon. I appreciate all the support. I really love this TI community. I'll never let anyone say anything bad about it. Peace.